another tournament, another reflection. This time it was a short camber round. That's 30 arrows at 50, 40 and 30 meters. I rather enjoyed the shoot and I felt positive throughout the whole day, despite some horrendous shots. Uh, out of 900, I scored 709. That's not a great score, but I felt it was a good step in my progress. Um, I felt that I approached this like it was a practice session rather than a competition, and it felt really satisfying. What I was really happy with was that I was beginning to group consistently. Not so much at 50 meters, but definitely at 40 and 30 meters, where shots became purposeful and showed intent. I'll talk more about that a bit later. Um, I often have a chronic problem of not hitting the 10 ring. And well, this time, out of 90 shots, I scored 17 10s and 19 9s. That's, that's not bad. I felt, it felt vindicating to know that I can hit gold when I want to. One of the things that was going through my mind was the idea of the deliberate shot. This is something I came up with as I was leading up to the event and I was mentally practicing. Um, I think this is a state of mind or a stage that you will eventually reach as you train and improve. You start out not really caring where your arrows land. You're happy if they make it onto the target. You celebrate those bullseyes as if you totally meant it. Then you get your equipment together. You get your form together. And suddenly, hitting the target isn't much of an achievement anymore. You begin to taste the ability to group consistently. You start counting those nines and tens, but you can't get them all the time. Sometimes your groupings are off to the side. Sometimes you don't group at all. It feels like a gamble each time you let go of the string. After that, you begin to realize that you can, in fact, hit what you are aiming for. Tens are no longer accidents. Groups are no longer flukes. You realize that by executing the shot the same way each time, your arrow will land in the same spot. You gain the confidence to hit gold on your first shot. You can walk up to the line, ask for the distance, adjust your sight, and hit gold. You become sensitive enough to know the outcome of the shot before you release it. You may be at the point where you know it's going to be a bad shot, but you let it go anyway, and it howls towards the bottom corner. The difference at this level is that you can pick yourself up. You know why it happened, and you don't do it again. In one of my ends, I was shooting 9s and 8s. Then, I came into full draw, and I knew it was wrong. I was in a compressed position, the tension line was wrong, it was out of balance. I probably should have, oh, there it goes. One. The reaction? And next shot, I'm thinking, okay, head back in the game, I got this, I got this. Three. But that flicked the switch. I got the arrows, came back to the line. I told myself, I'm going to hit gold. I'm going to hit purposefully and deliberately. The next six arrows, 10, 10, 10, 10, 9, 8. This is the intent you need to show. You can hit that target. You can hit that gold. And you will do it. You're not letting the arrow fly on a wing and a prayer. That shot is going where you want it to. If you come to full draw and you haven't got through your mind onto focusing on hitting that target, do not make that shot. You already know where it's going to go. Make every shot deliberate. Make every shot count. This is New Sensei. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.